Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm GC Smith, and welcome to Mod All the Blocks. A first episode in a series of videos where I'll be covering mods, or mod spotlights if you want to call it otherwise. Today we're going to be covering Security Craft by GeForce132. Uh, rather small mod, but rather cool mod uh, that offers a lot of security uh, ways to add security to uh, single player and multiplayer. Uh, it's only got two items currently in the game, and these are the keypad block and the laser tripwire block. So first off, we're going to show you uh, what they do, and then I'll show you how to set them up. So to show you what they do, let's have a first look at the keypad block. This is a keypad block. It looks a bit like iron, but if we go around the side, you can see it actually has a keypad thing. Uh, when you place it, the keypad will be facing towards you, but then it will turn to face something like the door if it's right next to a door, uh, like where the output will be. So we'll come here, press 1-1, one, one, which is the password, the door will open, and we can move through. We can access it from both sides, and therefore move through it again. You know, you can also uh, attach the uh, keypad to uh, through redstone to something to activate it that way if you want to activate something a bit further away. Uh, we also have here a uh, laser tripwire blocks. Now, that it may look like glass, but it isn't glass. It's actually a laser. So we can move through this, and it'll create a signal from that block, as we can see, up to the piston. When we move out of it, the signal will eventually end, and the piston will fall. Uh, it's very interesting how it looks like glass, uh, whatever, but it's just the texture you can give it at the moment, uh, and I think the texture might change at some point in the future. Uh, What's also interesting though is you can actually destroy the laser. Um, I don't need to fall out. We can actually destroy the laser and then you'll have to actually drop, new destroy and replace one of the blocks. So rather cool, uh, two interesting systems uh, that can be utilized to secure places and create traps. And actually I can imagine them being rather useful for adventure maps in creating things such as the keypad block especially. So many adventure maps ask you to go and fetch a key. What if instead they asked you to go and fetch a key code? Unlike keys, which you can just go and create your own like lever and do it that way cheat easily, the keypad block, you actually have to go and find the code and uh, type it in and go through that way. So I think that would actually be quite cool. So now that you've seen what the two can do by creating red, uh, you know, signals for redstone uh, that you can utilize in any way you really wish, Let's show you how to set them up. First off, let's show you off the uh, keypad block. So I've set up a system here for me to just put the keypad straight down next to this door. Now when you put down the keypad uh, keypad down, when you first click on it, you'll have this keypad set up to set uh, input your code. So let's just put your, the code 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you can actually make your code like up to 5, 6, you know, you can make it even longer. But let's just do 1, 2, 3, 4 and click this 0, which is OK. Now that we've inputted the code we want, one, two, three, four, when we enter that, the door will open and we can move through. And yet again, one, two, three, four. The light actually goes green on it as well. If you notice, the little red light there goes green. And you can go through the door. So again, it's a very simple setup. Uh, currently, these the items can only be got in through uh, creative mode. Uh, so it's only really, you know, uh, you go in creative mode and put them in yourself. So you can't really even create them yet, but I'm sure he'll put crafting recipes in them at a later date. Next up, I want to show you how to make the uh, laser system. So first off, we need to place one laser block there. Now the second laser block must be placed within uh, five blocks of this one. So one, two, three, four, five. I can show you what happens if you place it within six. Uh, you know, on the sixth block, nothing happens. It doesn't create a laser. If I place it on five, uh, don't know why it created that block again, but it will create another laser here. Look at a laser here. Now we can link that laser up here uh, to my. Oh no, no, we can't. Sorry, excuse me a second. I uh, screwed that up. Let's go. Uh, let's get iron block. I, sh I guess. Oh no, just get a wood block. Let's just get a wood block. Uh, and we can put this onto my uh, TNT safety module for us to test. So by walking through this, it'll create a signal. That doesn't actually spark off the TNT. Interesting. Let's see if that works. Yep, it will spark off that TNT. The TNT will go into the water chamber and explode safely. And if we really want to do it, we could. Uh, 
go and place your redstone up here and do it again for that one. So my patented safety test chamber uh, allows the explosion to happen without damaging any of the environment. Now obviously uh, that's actually rather useful if you uh, want to uh, link this up to TNT for maybe mob traps. Uh, you can also link it up to say dispensers for arrow traps for mobs and use it so whenever a mob walks through you're basically just injuring mobs and use it as a mob grinder. So it's a rather cool way to uh, you know, kill mobs without you having to have any inputs whatsoever. Uh, you don't need complicated uh, clocks. They're just mobs walking through this will, you know, casually kill themselves. So it's a rather cool mod uh, overall. You know, it doesn't add too much to the game, but it adds enough to be uh, rather interesting provide various ways of doing things that otherwise weren't available in the game, or at least not in any way I've seen. So uh, GeForce, you've made quite a nice little mod here. Something I would recommend anyone that wants to utilize it to download and test out and give it themselves, uh, give it a go themselves. Uh, if any of you watching this uh, give out the mod test, uh, don't be afraid to comment in below what you do, uh, how you think it can work, or you know, give a video response to uh, you know how you're using this mod. The uh, link to download this mod will be in the description below, so don't forget to check that out and go you know. Tell the uh, developer of the mod what you think, what you suggest uh, he should add. You know, just compliment him on his work. Good work. Uh, obviously, don't forget to like the video if you like it. And subscribe if you want to see more of uh, the uh, model of the blocks, uh, mod spotlights. And maybe suggest any mods you want me to spotlight. Uh, if you're a mod developer yourself and you want to comment below, just link your mod down there. Or just give, it, you know, give a you know, message on there. And uh, I might be able to check your mod out in a future model of the blocks. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.